with Randy Gorder from Hool here at World Dairy Expo. How are you doing, Randy? I'm fine. Thank you for uh, allowing me to come visit with you You today. bet. You're associated also with the uh, Gia Farm Technologies and Hool. Can you explain the relationship there? Sure. In, uh, I believe it was 2007, GEA had looked at, uh, started visiting with the Hool Company and acquired the Hool Company to bring them in with our manure equipment line to become part of a total solutions provider for the GEA Farm Technologies Division. So. Um, happy to be part of the GEA family, and things have been working out great. Well, fantastic. You know, when we talk about, you know, key aspects of dairying, manure management has got to be at the forefront. There's a, a lot of manure that comes out of the cow on a daily basis, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, when you take a look at it, uh, when the dairyman, what are the three biggest things he has to deal with, the volumes? Milk, feed, and manure. So your feed and your manure are two of the biggest volumes he has to deal with. So, Yeah. And you need to have, uh, you know, the proper tools to manage that manure, and you have to maintain as well. And the maintenance seems to be the biggest obstacle in some of the dairy operations, particularly when you're looking at your bottom line. Maybe the milk price isn't uh, what it is, you know. Well, you know, it's not a matter of when the equipment's going to break, or if the equipment's going to break down, it's when it's going to break down. And so the better job that we can have in our dairymen doing some scheduled maintenance on their equipment, the longer the life they're going to get out of the equipment as well. So um, in the past, we've had some of our dealers put together scheduled maintenance programs. Uh, we're going to be, as a company, focusing on working towards a service flush program to help our dealers uh, work towards scheduled maintenance on the equipment. So okay. What's the <laughs> name of the program again? Service Plus. Okay. And this is something that, uh, you know, maybe walk us through what's included in this. Well, that, that can really vary depending upon the, on the type of equipment that we're dealing with. Mm -hmm. um, if it's an electrical pump, for example, the, the Service Plus, we'll set it up with the dairyman to say after so many hours, this is what should be done to the pump. Uh, the Service Plus program <coughs> excuse me, also deals with the greasing schedule. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that the farmers are, are properly greasing the equipment at the hours they should be greased. Um, checking the tension of V-belts, checking the oil levels, um, just make sure everything's good. And maybe every six months, every year, depending upon how many hours the pump has been run, pull the pump out and look at the bottom end to see how much wear we have on the impeller, um, bearings, you know, just give it the once over to uh, prevent a major breakdown. Sure. So setting up a maintenance schedule, you would probably recommend Service Plus then? Yes, I would. Okay. That would be, it would be, you know, it's just one of the other tools that we can help our dealers with to give better service to their customer and reduce the maintenance cost and get longer life out of the equipment. So where could a, a dairyman find more information about Service Plus? Well, this is a program we're just starting up and we're going to be introducing it to our dealers, you know, slowly introducing it to our dealers throughout the year, but they can contact their local GEA dealer or the Hool dealer, any one of the GEA companies will be glad to answer those questions about Service Plus. All right. Well, I'll have to check it out. Thanks, Randy, for You're stopping by. I appreciate it. That's uh, Randy Gorder from Hool here at World Dairy Expo.